Hey baby, hey little man. Uh, just chilling on a Sunday. Uh, I was pondering uh, Mark 12:33 today, and uh, in union with that, uh, how Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. I think people somehow always slip back into uh, trying to keep the law. The law is the standard we live by. We use the law to identify in ourselves our shortcomings. But trying to keep the law uh, as the letter of the law isn't getting it. <laughs> People who are they're like, oh, I didn't steal because it says thou shalt not steal. Uh, but in their heart, they've already stolen by coveting and, you know, idolatry and envy is a form of theft, believe it or not, in the heart. Um, while people haven't kept the letter of the law, they said, I didn't steal because it says thou shalt not steal. Or, I didn't commit adultery because it says thou shalt not commit adultery. So I materially, I physically didn't steal. I physically didn't commit adultery. But in your heart, if you've thought about it, then you've committed it. Um, I think where we miss the grace of God, the influence on our heart and its reflection in the life, including gratitude, compared to keeping the law materially and physically without uh, bringing our thoughts and our heart actions under the obedience of Christ. Uh, people live by the law and the standard that they say openly, look, I haven't done none of these things. But in their hearts and their minds, they have done them. And so what God was pleading through Christ, He says, okay, Look, this is what I want you to do. Abraham believed. And because he believed, it was counted to him as righteousness. How Abraham showed he believed was he lived out what he believed. We're to live out what we believe. And by faith, and when we do it by faith, that divine influence either is there or it's not. Okay, uh, you hear Paul, or you read Paul, say something about the obedience of faith. Uh, the obedience of faith is merely just bringing our heart and mind under the obedience of Christ. Our actions, our internal actions, our outward actions have nothing to do with it. You can live by the letter of the law. That's only going through the motions. But if your heart and mind don't line up with Christ, then you're living disobedient lives. And it's a simple thing, really, but uh, the man in uh, Mark 12:33 understood it. He said, to love God with all your heart and understanding and your soul, to love your neighbor as you love yourself, uh, is much better than offering sacrifices. He completely got it. Jesus told that man, he said, you're not far away from the kingdom of God. Uh, when we bring our hearts and our minds into uh, the inside our conscience, when we bring that under the obedience of Christ, then we could say we believe. But until then, we're just going through the motions on the outside. You have to bring your heart and mind under the microscope of the Word, under the obedience of Christ, and trust in Him for our righteousness. And So it's just amazing to me. Uh, there's a lot of people walking around uh, under the levy. They're under the burden of sin because internally they can't get it. Yeah, they're keeping the letter of the law on the outward appearance, but in their hearts and minds, they're condemned, and they're under the levy. And that levy is not forced labor in the material fashion outwardly, but is the consuming of our substance, our lives. The wages of sin is death. And so that levy that's forced on us is bringing us to the grave. So wouldn't you rather have Jesus depositing life into your account? <laughs> I would. Hey, have a great day. I love you, baby. And I love you, little man. Thinking about you.